This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back again. So now in this session, once again, foreign currency setting itself is going to be explained. As I told you in previous session that uh, there'll be a question that what is the difference between direct quotations and indirect quotations? Under which case you are going to specify your rate under direct quotations. And when we can specify the rate under indirect quotations right so if you are having a perfect understanding easily you guys will be able to explain uh, the logic behind this so now here i'll tell you if you talk about the definitions guys i'll just show you here in my ppt look at here direct quotations one unit of foreign currency shows the total value of local currency an indirect quotation means one unit of local currency shows the total value of foreign currency I'll show you. So I'll, I'll explain you this logic. Let's suppose I told you one USD equals to 50 Indian currency, right? So how the rates are going to be specified into SAP? See, translation rates. You now I'm going to make it one is the one itself. That logic already I have explained in the previous session. So let me delete these things. Now here, and one USD equals to 50. I not let's suppose Indian currency. Okay. Now, and I'll remove this thing also because this is already explained in the previous session. Now here, so generally here, one unit of foreign currency, the rate which I have specified in the exchange rate table, guys, one USD equals to let's suppose 50 INR. I'll show you here. OB, first of all, OB, BS. I'll have to change. I'll have to change what page? I'll have to change the translation ratio. Let's suppose your USD, INR, and sorry, change rate type, first of all, M, and then your USD, then here your currency, company currencies, and then one is to one itself i'm going to specify save it control it and then come back ob 08 so here the rate which i'm going to specify is one usd equals to 50 indian currency now here so i'll just remove this rate because this rate i specified to show you guys the logic of translation ratio save it look at here this is what the rate i have specified so here this 50 i have specified under direct quotations so direct quotation shows what guys direct quotation shows one unit of direct as per direct quotations what is happening guys it is showing the one unit of foreign currency is showing the total number of unit of your local currency right one unit of foreign currency equals to 50 unit of your local currency this is the rate so it, it is going to be specified in this way under direct quotation it means whenever whenever the local currency value is lesser than the foreign currency let's suppose usd value is usd currency value is greater than indian currency right or is indian currency value is smaller than usd or is gbp or is uh, australian dollar right so in that case if i say one euro equals to let's suppose 60 indian currency so easily we are able to understand right one usd equals to 50 indian currency easily we are able to understand right so whenever our local currency value is smaller than the foreign currency in that case generally we maintain the rate under direct quotations now take an example i told you about iranian currency right iranian currency here here right so now here usd versus Indian currency. So this is like we know like USD value is greater than uh, higher than the Indian currency. Now if you talk about Indian currency 
is going to be compared with the Iranian currency, then here Indian currency value is higher than Iranian currency, right? In this case, what is happening, guys? In this case, look at here one Indian currency equals to how many Iranian currency? 561. So, Iranian currency is the foreign currency, right? Iranian currency is the foreign currency. So, like let's suppose here one unit of foreign currency equals to total unit of local currency. But in case of Iranian currency, I am talking about one in one unit of one unit of I, INR, one unit of sorry, one unit of Indian currency equals to uh, this 561, right? I'll, I'll just make it round figure 560. IRR. So look at here, one unit of foreign currency shows the total unit of your local currency. This is the example of direct quotations. Okay. Let's suppose this is called direct quotations. It means we are going to specify here. Okay. Finally, I'll just direct quotations. Now, and in case of Iranian currency, we are saying that one unit of our local currency equals to this is the total unit of foreign currency. So this is going to be specified under indirect quotations. Under indirect quotations. So when the rates are going to be specified under direct quotations and when rates are going to be specified under indirect quotations, I'll show you. I'll tell you. Now, whenever, whenever local currency, it means your company code currency. So whenever the local currency value is smaller than the foreign currency, in that case, we are going to specify the rate under direct quotations. And whenever local currency value is higher than the foreign currency, in that case, we are going to specify the rate under indirect quotations. I'll tell you, if you talk about in Iranian currency, then you just do one thing here. I'll first of all specify OBBS. We are going to specify the translation ratio new entry from let's suppose INR to IRR and validity. I'm going to give today's state itself one is to one. I'm going to give and save it. Then here, copy this one itself, or you click on new entry, and here you can give the date. Now here, INR, and here IRR, right? In this way we can. Can we specify in this way, guys? So. No, not in this way. So here, I'll tell you now. Wait, I maintain the rate here. So not here like this. Just so here, maintain the rate like this only. Change rate and for, from like let's suppose your uh, what to say foreign currency and to local currency. Maintain. Ratio 1 is to 1, validity I've given here 1508 and save it. So now in this way itself, I'm going to specify the rate. So here, Iranian currency and here, Indian currency, right? So now, what is happening, guys? So here, okay, if it was USD, if you it was USD, then I'm saying that one USD equals to 50 Indian currency. Look at here under direct quotations. But this at the same time, if the foreign currency is Indian currency IRR, in that case, I'm saying that 560 Indian currency equals to one INR. You press enter. No exchange rate conversion factor could be found in currency where it is exchange rate type because the entry is missing from appropriate table. Okay. So have I saved this? I think I have not saved. 
we get saved or not this is saved yeah so why it is like maintained i know i know it's okay save it here itself the currency is locked by user okay it's just like locked by me here so now press enter and save it yes no it's just. so now here now this one okay so look at here one now here one unit of local currency shows the total unit of it means 560 unit of IRR so when our currency in the sense local currency value is higher than the foreign currency in that case what is happening the rate is going to be specified under indirect quotations right and in case in case if the foreign currency as i told you like here usd is the foreign currency foreign currency is having a higher value compared to the local currency then roads rates are going to be specified under direct quotations this is how we are able to understand the value guys right because if you talk about here here i'm saying that one usd equals to 50 indian currency so i'm able to understand very easily and you are able to understand very easily at the same time when it comes to the iranian currency i'm saying no our one one unit of indian currency equals to 560 of iranian currency in this way we are able to understand easily right so in that case this is because your foreign currency here iranian currency is having you know uh, quite lesser value compared to indian currency right so this is how i am going to i am preferring to say quote this rate right so this is going to be specified this rate is going to be specified under direct quotations and this rate is going to be specified under indirect quotations in which case direct quotations and indirect quotations are going to be maintained guys it is going to be maintained when the local currency value is smaller than the foreign currency in that case this value local currency value is going to specify under direct quotations and if the foreign currency value is smaller than the local currency in that case we are going to maintain the rate under indirect quotations i'll come back to my definitions once again look at here this example i have quoted in the form of uh, what to say uh, usd itself say for example we can specify the rates in two way two way in the sense let's suppose click on that button and here watch this video twice and thrice guys then you'll be able to understand okay uh now here so i said one usd equals to 50 indian currency so direct quotations direct quotations why because one unit of foreign currency shows the total value of local currency okay or else in the same or else we even here also here also we can specify the rate so one usd equals to 50 aina right so one indian currency equals to how many usd guys 0.02 usd so this rate can be specified here 0.02 usd if you are going to specify this i think the format is incorrect so i'll have to give comma here okay so 0.02 i've specified so this is also going to give you the same meaning okay a very simple mathematical calculation is there i'll tell you here no accounting concept is required no accounting entries are required you cannot say that you are not from accounting background this is why you are not able to understand whatever examples i quote guys it is it has nothing to do with the accounting uh what do you say this one so if you feel that you are not the expert of accounting then only you are not able to actually guys this is a simple mathematical calculations right i assume that you all have studied this at least till 10th standard everybody are going to you know study like whatever the normal mathematics is there no matter whether you are in india or australia or uk or us wherever you are at least like till 10th standard everybody are going to read out the mathematics so this is a simple mathematical calculations i'm talking about right so here fp 50 okay this example generally i don't quote why because it's going to create some confusion that is why i i quote the example in different, different currencies so that you'll be able to understand 
Anyway, again here, let's suppose I have specified 0.02 USD equals to one Indian currency. Right? It means one unit of your local currency shows the total value of foreign currency. Right? Under indirect quotations, what is happening, guys? Under indirect quotations, one unit of your local currency shows the total unit of foreign currency. And under direct quotations, one unit of foreign currency shows the total unit of your local currency. This is what the difference is. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, right? That is what I'm saying that uh, I know like 90% of you will be able to understand this uh, in a single uh, one example itself, but might be 10% of the people who may have some confusion. That is why I'm repeating, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, the examples, I'm explaining the same things twice and thrice so that you, you guys would have the understanding right if you're having understanding you can quote your own definitions during interview or else you can quote the uh, as i told you like you can quote the example as, as well no need to mug up the definitions and all so here now instead of 50 inr i have specified 0 0.02 usd equals to one indian currency so under direct quotations i have specified this 0 0.02 usd equals to one local currency so one unit of local currency shows the total value of foreign currency here if i'm going to give you a usd and if i try to force this transaction give your gl account once again here one usd itself i'm going to give and give a different account here one usd and if you press enter look at here the magic still it is showing 50 why because same thing 0 0.02 usd equals to one indian currency so one usd equals to one usd equals to how many indian currency guys a simple mathematical calculation is there one usd equals to how many what to say uh, how many uh, us currency uh, sorry one so 0 0.02 0.02 usd equals to one indian currency right it means 0 0.02 means we can say two paisa right here in india whatever the coins are there like it is it is called like paisa like in a uh, foreign like saints or something will be there right so this is how so here 0 0.02 dollar equals to one indian currency so one dollar equals to what will happen guys Simple calculation is there if you are going to multiply multiply see calculator yes. okay oh it is not a very anyway so you guys can calculate here it's it's very simple uh, what is a calculator is there right so let's suppose or is like here so I said like 50 one usd equals to 50 INR. so one INR equals to how many one divided by 50 so this is how i have calculated 0 0.02 it means one indian currency equals to 0 0.02 usd right so now here uh now and again if you want usd equals to then it is going to be calculated system is going to calculate automatically guys 50 uh, what do you say inr is going to be so now here that's what i said direct quotation means one usd equals to in the in the sense one unit of foreign currency so is the total value of total value of local currency and vice versa under indirect quotations one unit of local currency so is the total unit of foreign currency so this is what i have quoted here but generally in which case we are going to specify the rates under direct quotations and in which case we are going to specify the rates under indirect quotations guys once again i'll repeat when the foreign currency's value is greater than local currency in that case i we specify the rates under direct quotations when the foreign currency rate is higher than the local currency look at here one is equals to 50 INR. it means foreign currency rate is better than the local currency so this rate is going to be specified under direct quotations when the local currency rate is higher than the foreign currency in that case we are going to specify the rates under 
indirect positions. This is what the logic. Right. You just do one thing, guys. You can uh, have some practice. While practice, you put some more example, you test some more example and all, then you guys will be having understanding. So this is what the difference between direct quotations and indirect quotations. The rates are going to be specified under direct quotations if the foreign currency value is higher than the local currency. This is why I say one unit of foreign currency shows the total value of local currency. If the rates, if the local currency rates are higher than the foreign currency, in that case, the rates are going to be specified under indirect quotations. It means like I, I told you, like in case of Iranian currencies. Okay. Even direct quotations also we can maintain. Direct quotations also you can maintain, right? If you want to like one uh, INR equals to this one. Oh, sorry, one Indian currency equals to this many Iranian currency. So if you want to maintain the under direct quotations, if you want to maintain like one IRR equals to how many Indian currency guys? So again, you have to. So one divided by 560. So this much are this much we are going to specify this much three and two five this much we are going to specify under direct quotations so decimal places are there guys right so it will be a bit confusing that is why simply we are going to specify this rate under under indirect quotations okay so still uh, if you have little bit confusions that is going to be clarified only if you generate your own scenario and do the practice do the what you say uh, testing the way i have done here this is how it is going to be clarified i know that 90 95 percent of the you have been able to understand even the five percent those who is having still confusion guys i'll tell you that you uh, have a practice here and you use some other pairs of currencies also and then your doubts are going to be clarified because practice makes man perfect right so that's all guys that's all in this session and this is how you have to say this is what the difference between direct quotations and indirect quotations direct quotations is going to be used when the foreign currency rate is higher than the local currency indirect quotation is going to be uh, you know the rates are going to be specified under indirect quotations only if the local currency rate is higher than the foreign currency so that's all in this season, guys.